Greetings Critters, it's Fox here and welcome to my Girl of Thought, aka my channel where we talk about everything spooky. And today specifically we will be talking about Camilla Stein's The Lost Village. So settle into your burrows because things are about to get spooky. So a little bit about the plot of The Lost Village by Camilla Stein. Uh, there is a woman named Alice who is a film documentarian who has a grandmother who originated from an old mining town. A mining town where all the residents just up and disappeared. So having been obsessed with this since childhood, she wrangles together a film crew and goes to this ghost town. And things do not go Alice's way from the get-go. And let me tell you, Things get spooky and hectic for poor Alice. So, my thoughts on this book was going into it that it would have that Blair Witch horror vibe. It does say that it is a horror and scares the sake of a devastating examination of the nature of family secrets. So, I was really hoping for a super suspenseful scene. I did love the premise of the documentary team going to the deserted village and finding out what really happened. That mystery really intrigued me. Um, I also loved the atmosphere, the desolation, the rot, the decay, because it mimics the characters in many senses in the ways of the atmosphere mimicking their emotional and mental states the state of the relationships with the other crew members, and so on and so forth. So I really loved the atmosphere. It was very appealing, and it helped carry me through this book because it is a really slow burn, and that's not something I'm really interested in, especially when the main plot twist, I was able to predict. So this book did lose that suspense aspect and horror aspect for me kind of became just sort of a semi-mystery. I did love that there were two points of perspective. Uh, there's the present tense and then there's the past tense and I love the past tense because they were shorter passages that had more substance to them. It felt like a, it just I like the pace more and it was a shame that they were so sparsely spread out throughout the book. I felt like if they had it alternated, it would have helped me get through the 300 plus pages easier and with more enjoyment. Now, the ending was great. It's a strong ending, but again, it was something I was able to predict. So in that retrospect, because of the ability to predict the lack of suspense and the lack of horror, I am rating this a 3.5 tails out of 5. That being said, I do think I'm going to pick up The Resting Place by Camilla Sten because this is my first book by her. I don't want to completely like write it off just because it was mediocre for myself. I do like her writing style, so I will definitely be picking up more by her for sure. And even though I don't see myself picking this back up and rereading it, I am happy that I did read it because I enjoyed it enough. And that's all from this Pen of Fright today, okay? I love and I appreciate you all so, so, so much. You mean the whole wide and wild wilderness to me. You really do. Thank you so much for being here and watching. And until next time, stay cozy and stay spooky. Bye.